No. Diane. It shows what an absolute and total piece of garbage you are. Actually worse because garbage can be converted into something useful. You are total absolute human cancer. Please quote me on that. I haven't checked this site in ages because it's mostly crazy bullshit. To be charitable. But, when you attack my son you are going to pay the price you sick dirty slimy ignorant fool. And, frankly, that's raising you to a level you absolutely don't deserve. Nothing you ever report on this site makes any sense because I will give people anything they want to know about their government. Diane you really are the craziest human being I've ever known. This will be my last post on this sick site of the worst part of humanity. The fact that some of you still think you're Christians is pathetic. There is a special place in hell for you. Council to have free discussion among us. I have to call another point of order, madam. I'm sorry. Okay. But, and again, I, I question due process if we are not going to allow him to respond to accusations prior to a judgment. Jeff, I'm, I'm, it, it's my understanding that public comment is, is not intended to have. I understand responses. public comment, but if we're going to take a vote prior to the, to the mayor responding to the accusations, we need to have charges and we need yep. to have a response to those charges yep. in order to be fair. Okay. Thank you, Alderman Lauer. Could you comment on that? Sure. I guess I would uh, point to Mayor Renner as to if he feels it's necessary for him. Uh, to respond to anything, uh, you know, the issue that's before the council tonight is limited to the comments that were in the um, in the blog and his response to those comments. Um, it, you know, uh, the question would be, Mr. Mayor, are you comfortable with leaving and allowing the? I think getting back and forth on something like this would not be good at this time. Okay, so you're completely comfortable with totally. All right. Thank you. The damage caused by this incident is already done regardless of what happens here tonight. In my opinion, the loss of trust and credibility with our residents is significant. And for, for me not to say anything publicly would only add to the damage brought on us by this incident. The second point I've heard is the council has more important things to do. Yes, we do have other things to do, but I don't know they're more important. As elected officials, the people of Bloomington expect us to help set a standard for public discourse. That responsibility comes with these positions. People expect us to be tolerant and fair. By virtue of our positions as uh, elected officials, we set the tone for what is acceptable behavior in our community, whether we like it or not. So today, with this action, I personally want to reaffirm that we must hold ourselves to a higher standard in how we communicate with those who may disagree with us. I believe this is an important message for us to send to the community, especially for the younger generations that can be so impressionable. This, I, I want to applaud Alderman Lauer for his attention to what is Robert's Rules. And I do not believe that this procedure indeed does follow the legalities of Robert's Rules. And one of the sad victims of that tonight, this procedure tonight, is that we don't have facts. We do not have facts out here, the truth. The truth. I, I'm a big fan of the truth. Wherever it is, whatever it is, wherever it leads us. And our citizens will never have established facts. Um, in fact, the innuendo and the, um, uh, you know, uh, the emails that we've gotten have opinions that are so outrageously, frankly, not factual that it's, um, it's, it's very disheartening. <laughs>